Well, the Democratic stronghold of San Francisco has become, well, especially in downtown, a festering pile of garbage, feces, and drug needles. According to a survey by a local news station, Bay Area's NBC's investigation of 153 city blocks, including popular tourist spots, found trash on every block, 300 piles of feces on 96 blocks, lovely, 100 discarded hypodermic needles on 41 blocks, that's all. So this is a sanctuary city, is it? Well, here's a local deli owner. He's fed up. It's, it's filthy. It's disgusting. Yesterday, we uh, taped somebody just on the side of my building peeing on my restaurant uh, in broad daylight. I actually have pictures of people shooting up in the street. It's absolute mayhem at this point. It's completely out of control. I had a caller on my radio show today said she was in San Francisco recently with her kids, and she also saw someone shooting up right on the side of the street, you know, tying up the arm and putting the needle in. I had to shield her daughter's eyes. Not exactly a uh, paradise for businesses or workers. Joining us now in San Francisco, San Francisco Republican Party Vice Chair Ken Liu is also a commissioner with the BART Police Citizen Review Board, and Ethan Bierman, a political commentator and Bay Area radio host. Now, Ethan, I love San Francisco. Let me just say, I love it. I have family there. I have friends there. Been going for a long time. It has a major problem. And I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, or somewhere in between, it's not getting better. It seems to be getting worse. What do you think? Well, I mean, it's true. It, it is problematic. Uh, I will say that uh, under Mayor Ed Lee, who recently passed away, we've reduced the number of uh, veterans who are homeless in the city of San Francisco. We are taking an approach, but remember, we are being handcuffed by a number of laws that prohibit the ability of taking care of people with mental health issues and making them get the psychiatric care that they need, getting them the addictive care. We, we allow people under the guise of civil liberties to be free and not put them in places to get the help that they need to protect and help themselves, let alone others, and allow them to become contributing members of society again. This is a really big issue. Nobody wants to step in feces. I have children. I don't want to do that either. I don't like finding used needles. But there are approaches, and the city is trying, but we actually need some federal help in this case, in my opinion, because a lot of the homeless are not from San Francisco. They come because they're not going to freeze to death when we're having a cold snap, unlike the rest of the Wait, country. Are you blaming so Trump for the this? Coastal are, you areas. Blaming, are you blaming Donald Trump for the fact that San Francisco absolutely has not. a horrific... This is a successive... Okay. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Okay. This is a Good. this is a successive series of issues and court yeah. rulings for that matter. Laura, you know about that. We've had four federal courts rule that we can't do certain things. Yeah, with don't get me started on the judge. Care. Don't we get me started on the judges. Stuff. I'm going to do a whole big segment on the judges tomorrow. Uh, but Ed, let's go uh, to you on this. This <laughs> this is so sad on so many levels. But this is supposed to be the progressive paradise of San Francisco. It's a super Democrat majority. The Board of Supervisors for years, going back to Gavin Newsom, when he tried to get rid of the cash for the, remember the cash for the homeless? He wanted to do the vouchers. They fought, fought him back then. That was, he was my first guest, by the way, on my radio show that I ever had 17 years ago with Gavin Newsom. But to me, it's gotten worse and worse, even with some modest improvements around the edges. Uh, go ahead. I think we're having audio. Are we having audio problems? I'm happy to answer that. <laughs> Hi, is uh, I don't know. Yeah, sorry, it's directed. Hey, Laura, can yes. You hear me now? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. It's directed to you, Ken. So, yeah, so uh, San Francisco hasn't had a uh, Republican elected office for multiple decades now. And so none of the problems that we could see in terms of the homeless here can be attributed to uh, the Republicans at all in San Francisco, simply because we don't have a single Republican elected to office representing San Francisco. Um, the homeless epidemic that we have right here is just getting worse. In fact, every year, um, I was born here in San Francisco, and I could see progressively every year the problem has been getting worse and worse every year with no solutions. I've met with multiple Board of Supervisor members here in San Francisco, and they just keep asking for more money. Um, and when they ask for more money, it's basically rewarding a, a program that doesn't have any benchmarks. There is no solution, and their solution uh, is to just throw more money at the problem. Well, Ken, they, uh, we they're also doing, Ken, what they're also doing is pr declaring themselves, you know, year after year, we're a sanctuary city, we're a sanctuary state. 
We see the problem in Orange County. We see the problem in L.A. We have tent cities in both places. And we're bringing more people into the uh, into the situation, uh, and more people who are indigent and themselves are without jobs and a way to support themselves. So I don't see how the sanctuary status of San Francisco or the state is doing uh, is doing anybody any favors. Uh, Ethan and Ken, uh, great segment. Thank you so much. There's a lot to get through on this, and we're going to have to we have to come up with some creative solutions.